Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you how to create Crosby Shackle. In this tutorial, I will use and load in the created nut which parameter controlled by lookup table. You can find and watch how to create nut in the channel. I will create bold first and then load into in the main family. And I will refer the data in the picture to create the parameter. I will use this lookup table, CSV file, to create the parametric family. There are M10 to M100. I will use those formula for default do not found. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. OK, let go to Revit. Open the new family. Select the generic model face based and open it. Insert and load the created bold head family into project. Find the loaded family in project browser. Drag and drop the family to the reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family. Assign the material parameter to bold material. Select instance and click OK. Assign nominal diameter to bold size. Select instance and click OK. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for nut offset. Select instance and click OK. Go to reference level. Insert and load the created nut family into project. Find the loaded family in project browser. Drag and drop the family to the reference level. Assign the material parameter. Associate nominal diameter to bold size. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to front view. Move down the nut and align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 20 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for bold length. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for bold length parameter. Click apply and OK. Go to create. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Edit profile in reference level. Draw a circle and insert radius dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for bold radius. Select instance and click OK. Finish the sweep. Go to front view. Select the reference object and temporary hide it. Select the geometry. Associate the material parameter to material. Go to family type. Add formula for bold radius parameter. Formula is bold size divided by 2. Go to 3D view. Select the reference object and temporary hide it. Go to family type. Check and play the parameter. Parameter are working. Save the family in somewhere. To create main family. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. 
Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 13.5 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for W. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 8 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for bold size. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 8 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to bold size. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 61 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for L. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 8 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to bold size. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 13.5 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for W1. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add a new parameter for bold radius. Select instance and click OK. Add formula for bold radius. The formula is diameter divided by 2. Add formula for W1. The formula is W divided by 2. Go to Manage Lookup Table. Import the CSV file. Add a new parameter for Lookup Table. Select text for type and select other for group. Add parameter value for Lookup Table. The value is CSV name. Add a new parameter for nominal diameter. Select instance and click OK. Add formula for nominal diameter. Formula is equal to bold size. Add formula for L parameter. Add formula for W parameter. Click apply and OK. Go to create. Select the sweep. Sketch path and lock to the reference plane. Edit profile in reference level. Draw a circle and insert radius dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter for bold radius. Finish the sweep. Go to family type. Check and play the parameter. Parameter are working. Select the geometry. Add the material parameter. Select instance and click OK. Go to reference level. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 20 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for E. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 8 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to bold radius. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Draw start end radius arc. Insert radius dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to bold radius.
set the axis line and finish the revolve. Go to family type. Add formula for E parameter. And click apply. Check and play the parameter. Parameter are working. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Draw start end radius arc. Insert radius dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to bolt radius. Select the axis line and finish the revolve. Go to front view. Go to family type. Check and play the parameter. Parameter are working. Select the all geometry and join geometry. Go to create. Select the void sweep. Sketch path and lock to the reference plane. Edit profile in left view. Draw a circle and insert radius dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to bolt radius. Finish the void form. Go to 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter. Go to family type. Check and play the parameter. Parameter are working. Insert and load the created safety bolt family into project. Place on face in 3D view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family. Assign the material parameter. Select instance and click OK. Assign bolt size parameter to bolt size. Assign nut offset parameter to nut offset. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for nut offset parameter. Formula is W combined to double of bolt size. Click apply and OK. Go to family type. Check and play the parameter. Parameter are working. OK, Crosby Shackle family creation is complete. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.